All right, so Micro Machines 2 Turbo Tournament, the first one I ever got. This started my enjoyment of racing games. I was thinking that we'd do like, they have a league and stuff, but I was thinking we'd just do the challenge for each of the games, go through them all and just a little chill out playthrough. Um, I want to get to the end of one of them. This is the one where I went through most of it already. So I'm hoping I'll remember most of the tracks, um, but the, the difficulty is always in the later stages. Um, because, I mean, it's an old school game where you just had to keep playing through to memorize things and then you do better the next time and then you do better the next time as you got further and further on and you just had to, you know, you have to, mem you have to remember the 20th track in the list and then that lets you get to the 21st track. And then you've got to remember the 21st track because you probably fail on that one because it's the first time you've seen it and it gets harder and harder and harder. So a lot of these I'm probably going to remember initially and then it's going to start getting tricky. But I would like to try to get to the end of one of these. I was expecting to get a super lap there. Uh, but we'll do the military as well, which I also had to play through all the way, and that was an absolute pain in the ass. but we're not going to spend too much time on the military game. And then we'll also do the 96 edition special version, um, which I didn't play through pretty much at all, so I'll probably struggle to get to the end of that one, let's see. But I would like to get to the end of this one. I can't remember exactly how far I got when I did it before but I think I got to like race 20 or something it was just in the process of getting all the badges all the new badges I had to especially for these intro screens I had to like go through the races to get to um, to get to some of the, the tracks that showed the intro screens because some of the cars don't pop up until like race 20 in the challenge or something like that so we'll see but yeah, a lot of these early ones I've done quite a few times now since, you know, downloading the emulator and trying it again. I did remember some of them from memory from back when I was like six, seven years old, but nowhere near well enough to be able to just start up the game and, and be able to be quick. All right. I need to get this. I need to get extra lives. I've done this a few times now, so... Bollocks. Again, it's all it's all memorization with these old, old games, isn't it? Like, the more you do it, the better you get. And some of them, they get increasingly more difficult, obviously, as well, so if you don't know where to go, you're never going to be able to get, get them all done in time. Special monster truck that one, by the way. I didn't realise that one even existed. It's not your your car mark actually. Yours is the smaller monster truck that we'll see on one of the musical themed tracks. That one's not used as a um, as an icon, as a badge. You can get a super lap on this one. Nobody's got a Formula One car as a badge yet. Yes. I really hope you eventually do Micro Machines V3, that's the best one I am on. Is that the one that was on N64? Um, that was 3D. I remember having that one. I remember not liking it as much as these ones. Oh god. But I remember it being okay. I love the noises they make when you fall off. <laughs> Driving around the dinner table. This one always gets me because the blue the blue vehicle is always your big nemesis, but there's very very small number of tracks where it's either yellow or green. And this one, the yellow dump truck, dominates. <laughs> I mean, I can't catch it up. There it is. One more lap. Oh, mistake.
We've got a yellow dump truck for four years. That's a pretty popular one that people seem to have in terms of sub badges. Success! PS1 and I assume N64. The PlayStation 1 is obviously superior because the N64 was a trash console. I will get out. The, the, the N64 was beautiful console. <laughs> yeah, the music is great. Can we also build a track like Cutting Coroner's GP? We could try to do that in the race, the, the track creator on the 96 version. Gotta count. Oh, no, not that one. This one. But yeah, if you if you are fast enough on the first lap and you're in the lead, if you get a good lap, you can just go straight through. Um, in these challenge game modes, you can't do that in like the league version where it's uh, <laughs> based on points and things like that. Uh, Oh, he's gone! He's crashed it! Blue's lost it! Beautiful! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tony is calling me. What an inopportune moment. Blue absolutely choked it. You want Tony. Uh, but yeah, I didn't actually know that um, something. There was something I didn't know. It's gone from my... Oh yeah, the, the 96 edition of Micro Machines 2 Turbo Tournament. Um, I didn't realise that, like, that was my favourite one. And it was, you know, the enhanced version of basically this game that we're playing now and it had the race creator and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I didn't know that it was like a European sort of special or something like it didn't come out in the majority of places but that was my favorite that's where the go-kart came from some you know those certain vehicles were only in that 96 upgrade edition uh the vintage formula one car for example and the solar car and this is a this is a bug because this isn't this car this is a small version of the sports car they messed up with the model, I think, for this one. This is the very meta racetrack where you're racing with tiny vehicles within the Micro Machines world. <laughs> How old is this game and it still has bugs? Well, they couldn't fix it back then. I <laughs> wonder when they'll patch it. Wild Arms, thank you for the 100 bits. Um, let me... Let me do this and then I'll read it. Ha! <laughs> Bonked off! Get gone. These games just like, they were magical to me back in the day. You know, at six years old, playing something like this on your, on your Sega. You're racing around these locations that it just feels so immersive and I was already somewhat into racing from Formula One being on the TV and stuff like that. That's a wait. I am waiting for anyone in this. Every man for himself. Look at these guys. Dwayne, Jethro, Maria, they don't deserve to win. <laughs> this one's always a mess. Yeah, I like the theme of like the tracks and that every every car is like, specifically themed and then you go to the tracks and you see all these different things dotted around. Like you see penguin biscuits and cans and all this kind of stuff. The dinner table one is always fun. You can never catch blue on this one. Blue is just... I gave Dwayne a load of crap before we started the race, but... The blue car is so fast in these ones.
Not gonna win. Not gonna get a chance for another extra life. B3 was so cool because it had transform races. You raced around the garden in jeeps and then landed in the pond and transformed into the speedboats. I don't remember too much about it. I remember playing it and enjoying it. But I don't remember too much about it. Uh, I brought it up as it's getting incredible reviews from folks who are very picky and like it. That's it, something. Also, when a cougar gets old, she needs a hearing aid. She becomes a deaf leopard. Okay, I will look into it, Wild Arms. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I always found this level hard. These were always my favourite tracks, these ones. I've done this one a few times now. I even did it a couple of days ago when I recorded the video um, explaining the new sub badges and stuff. Um, but yeah, th this is a difficult one because there's so many places to go wrong, especially when you're on the sides like this. You can go down the holes, the pockets. You can go off the edge. Oh, I got the super laugh, beautiful. First time I've managed to do that. But that was always my favorite track. Like those, that theme at least. Um, because it was like, I was into snooker and pool and stuff like that as a kid. So I was like racing, I even had a very small like children's pool table um, when I was like younger at my grandparents. So it was like I was, Oh, he's gone. Yellow's choked it. But it was like I was racing around, you know, my own little pool table in a way. And I always like the design of the sports cars as well, which I've named the Le Mans cars for, uh, for the badges. I think I'm going to have to do all the three laps here. See, yellow is always good when it comes to the dump trucks. There are a lot of various like shortcuts and stuff as well I've learned. You see people people have put up like playthroughs of the Micro Machines games and you know there's a lot of places where you can save a lot of time or I think I saw on one of the damn it I hit the ketchup. <laughs> I saw on one of the levels like you can go into a hidden section and automatically get a lap taken off your like counted towards you so you're immediately a lap ahead of everybody else and I'm, I think speedrunners do this in you know so quickly I would be up for like trying to learn to speedrun this if I actually had time probably not with like the 96 version just because like that's my favorite one so I would want to keep it pure and not think about it through a speedrunning lens but I could totally see myself speedrunning this or learning how to. It's definitely not going to take us the sort of 20 or so minutes that I think speedrunners do it. I guess with this game mode it's just a case of getting a good first lap every time. See you later Mike. The important question is, did you then take your toy cars and play around the IRL pool table with the car? I'm 100% certain that's something that I would have done. And dropped them into the pockets and like made them come out of a pocket somewhere else. <laughs> On the outside, beautiful! All the cars have like their own handling characteristics as well, which was always nice. Like these convertibles are a little bit more, um, nice, are a little bit more, uh, slidey. And then some cars are quicker than others as well and whatnot. I think I've seen one of those videos, DW, about, I think I saw one about Mario. Not Mario Kart, but like the Super Mario games, maybe. Okay. 
kind of see what Mark was talking about with the dizziness. Yeah, sorry if it's if it's not making you feel well. Don't stick around just to, you know, look after yourself first and foremost. If it's if it's if it's not making you if it you know if it doesn't look good for you, don't stick around just for the sake of it. They're old games. There's probably some sort of I don't know. Um, setting I could maybe do to try and make things smoother or optimized a bit better or something like that I don't know really and I'm not really knowledgeable about emulators and emulating Sega games and stuff like that I didn't so boring old fart you think a few of these jingles like the super lap could work as donation sounds or sound alerts could be interesting to think about There's the dude. We're driving around a person on this one. You'll see his feet in a bit. <laughs> Just little details like that were so good in these kind of games. Especially in 1996 or so. Games weren't exactly known for being immersive. This actually came out in 1994. I don't think I had it that early. I liked how the sand in this one sort of teased you into a certain direction. <laughs> Again, the little details makes every sort of track and every car unique rather than it just being the same car around different layouts every time. Do you always play as Spider or can you choose the name? You can choose the name and you can play as any of the characters and you can change the name, but I always just leave it the same. A car contact for X. <laughs> Here's the monster truck that is uh, a sub badge. This is after the dump truck for four and a half years. Yellow does well with any kind of truck, it seems. I forgot about the piano first. Oh, I couldn't miss it. No. Oh, that was close. It's on one of these tracks I know I saw when I watched like a a speed playthrough. You just go in some random location and you, you automatically get a lap counted for you when you pick up something. Play has a tune. Some of the, the tracks actually do play a tune as you go through. There we go. That must have let me catch up a bit. There we go into the lead. Get wrecked, yellow. Oh, I shouldn't have sent him. Oh, he crashed as well. Nice. One more lap to go. Oops. Oops. Damn it. I'm going to have to ace that left hander again. It's the only place I can make time. I didn't. Oh, he's gone! Choked it! Yellow is a bit of a choke artist. We're finding out. Very rarely quick. Oh, uh, Peta, you've got the yellow monster truck badge. Unlucky. Sorry, uh, Peta. <laughs> Very rarely quick, but if they get into the lead, they, they, they're they not used to it, so they lose. <laughs> they choke it. All right, I haven't done this one. I haven't, gotten, I haven't done this well, so I don't know where these micro machines are going to be to collect. 
I think I might still be able to collect them as long as I don't miss one. But they get further and further away. You basically got to collect one every second. I lost a lot of time there. Gotta go for it. Oh, I get it! Yes! <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, I did do that one on Saturday, didn't I? I remember. I, I, I didn't get the chance to finish it, but I did that time. Alright, these were always a little tricky. These could go really badly, these ones. The dragsters, which we don't have a badge for just because they were... They were too small, they didn't look... Damn it. <laughs> they didn't look very good at badge size, because they were just too thin, you couldn't really make out what they were. Uh, but they were always bathroom themed. So you were always either driving around the outside of the bath. Wow, I'm in the lead? The other two must have took each other out as well. Or you were driving around the outside of the, the toilet, which you can see there, the black outline on the right. Like, that is the toilet that you race around as well with these. <laughs> and I like that as well, that, like, you see parts of a different track <laughs> on one of the other maps. No! Oh, I've choked it. It's all right, I need to just finish second to progress. That was a big choke. Second to last corner as well. <laughs> Delora beep into oblivion. Bank Dorval. Oh, I remember this one from playing through it like a couple of weeks ago. The toilet seat is pure PTSD. It really is. This one you can get a bit of a like a speed boost from the, the banking from what I can remember. But you need to keep it. <sighs> I don't know the the track well enough. I don't know the visual cues. There's always a visual cue as to where the uh, the corner is, like that can on the right hand side on the first corner. Let you know that the corner's coming up there. That was the. No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> That's all right, we're still progressing. We only need to finish second to progress. The benefit of finishing first is you get to go do those mini um, mini games with the, the monster truck getting extra lives. It's a four by four. Anyone got a four by four badge? Oh. All right, I don't really remember this one. Oh, now I do. Ah, I knew it was coming as well. <laughs> oh, I knew I needed to go to the right, but that was too much. I think this might be my first failure. I need to get at least back into second. I'm quite far back. Ah. Yeah, see this is the this is what I was talking about early on, like you've gotta to a certain extent know the tracks. Like it might like I've done this before and I still I'm still struggling. Like, imagine the very first time you come to do this. You're going to really, really struggle. And I did. <laughs> oh, I might have a chance. I'm not that far back now. Yellow is taking this one. There's blue. Blue. 
He can go straight through here as well. Yes. Saved it. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was a comeback. Thanks. Glad you like what I'm doing. Subs win. <laughs> yeah, Jan with his uh, his four by four won that one. And so boring old part. And Nick. Oh, yellow's gone. Yellow rally car's gone. Nobody's got a blue rally car as a sub badge yet. I'm gonna have to wait a bit before we see one of those. I think this one, it's a fairly easy track. The vices do come in, which make it a bit more difficult, but the blue and green are just so much faster than me. Yeah, that's what makes this one a challenge. Look, they're outpacing me. Oh. So I just need to finish second. Success. I'll probably remember where I get up to. Uh, where I got up to previously. At some point. Here we go, we've got a tune on this one. That was such a cool part of this track. You have a tune playing. You really have to go down here straight. Uh, you've got a tune playing as the music and the tune is coming from the thing that you're racing along <laughs> and you can get hit by <laughs> oh he hit me no no struggle on the end of this one. Oh, we're well, alright. Success! <laughs> wow, Green ended up finishing second. These games had amazing attention to detail. I know, right? This is where I got to because I needed this intro screen. So I had to go... This is the first time we've seen supercars and I wanted this intro screen. So I had to get all the way to race 20 to be able to get it and screenshot it. I think I might have went one or two more beyond this because I actually just kept playing the game. But the supercars are fast, so they're a bit of a challenge. Racing around the kitchen, around toasters and sugar cubes laying out the track and bits of salt. I think I did go a bit further than this because there were I, I failed on one of these races, the supercars. Because they are they are, they are quite difficult. I always remember them being difficult as well. But there's one that's more difficult than this one. And I'm having trouble with this. You can see how I'm I'm less good at the later races. Because I don't know the tracks as well as I do the, the original ones. And it's just because I haven't been this far often enough to learn everything. What? Stupid freaking toast. I'm being lucky that yellow and green are doing so badly. There's no way I'm beating blue on this one. Are getting more difficult as well. Last lap. Just gotta hold it in front of green. 
And I've got a good gap. Ruff is making an absolute mess of my moment. Oh, this is your icon, Andele. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the two red icons are the only ones that haven't had any colour change because they were already red. So this is actually exactly your sub badge, this supercar that I'm driving now. Same for the convertible. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious whether I'm going to get to the end of this. I don't know how many there are actually to get to the end. All right, 21. Did I do this? I might have just quit after the last one because I got what I needed, but I also... Oh, I think I did do this one, but I failed a few times. I lost a few lives on this one, I think. So, and, I, and I can't remember anything about it right now. Okay, so we've got the table in the opposite direction. There's cues in this one as well that come off the sides. They can stop the car. In this one, we're actually racing when people are um, playing snooker or pool. It's not just an empty table. Yes, yellow, get wrecked. Closing in on green. Gonna have to be last lap again. There it is. No, I didn't need. No, I didn't. I didn't want to hit that. Oh, I've lost. I don't think I'm gonna catch up now. Scruffy end of the. Oh, so close. Ugh. First life lost. So I did have five. You start with three. I gained two. No, I gained three, right? Yeah, I'm down to five now. Okay. We got we got a bit in hand. I actually don't think I did this one. I think I did stop. <laughs> Those two are having an argument. <laughs> I'll take that. If I can get a super lap. Oh, now, now I can't. <laughs> They're always so treacherous, these ones. You can just fall off and into everything. No! <laughs> Bollocks! This car's bloody quick too. It is. I was going to say, these always used to be some of my favourites because they were like one of the most challenging ones. And I like the cars and... Well, choked it on the last lap, I suppose, but at least we got we got through. Yeah, I think I stopped it at that supercars race. 
Alright, so I think this will actually be the bug this time. For the first time. <laughs> I think the F1 cars are the fastest, Remo. Oh, I remember this from when I was young. I haven't done it since I, I you know, since I was like seven, eight years old. I remember the crossings and all the little micro machines on the side of us racing around like, no, like they got wiped out. Oh God. Oh, that was close. <laughs> These were some of my favorite levels as well. Again, probably because I had stuff like this. Yeah, the attention to detail on these games was just so good. I wonder if there's any... Because though the, the cars in the um, traffic look to be other like micro machine models but there was one of them there that i didn't recognize i wonder if there's like a special model in there that you don't like, you can never race but it's only on in the tr in that like crossover traffic I need to investigate i have to get back here again <laughs> all right 23 we must be getting close to the end on this one now i think there might be 25 but these are tracks that I've never done before now. So, well, I have done them, but we're talking 20 years ago. Back to the, the convertibles that are pretty slidey. I remember this from when I was younger as well and how the wood would slow you down if it because it was going like uphill and downhill. I see, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, damn it. Couldn't make that work. There, look. The wood speed up, sped us up there because we were going sort of down after we'd climbed previously. This might be one that we have to do again. Oh god, so slow. That was lucky. I'm just... Oh, there's yellow. I was just going to say I'm just not catching, but... I had to use the brake there. <laughs> Ah. Don't think it's going to happen. Might be the second life lost. And again, those who have the red convertible sub badge this is the exact badge that you've got this car i'm not doing it very well oh, there's yellow you be careful here wasn't careful botched it botched it at the end i had it as well damn it it's tricky, that one, with the variable speed. All right, we'll try again.
punk. I think there's also an element of momentum. Like how fast you get onto the uh, onto the planks makes a difference, especially for the uphill ones. At least it seems like it. No. Oh. Nah. Can't do that one. I think I might have to like sharp turn. At the same time, braking just isn't enough. I mean, that's the first time I've ever had to actually use the brakes in this entire playthrough. I mean, using the pot, the paint pot to bounce off of, that kind of works as well. Could be a speedrunning strat if I was to be speedrunning this game. Save you a couple of seconds every lap. Just get the angle right and bounce off the, uh, the paint pot. Bollocks. They are slimy, these ones. Now. That's good. I had enough in hand. <laughs> I don't feel like braking actually is a good thing. Like, you're probably better off just turning the car as much as you can and, you know, accelerating away from the corner. Choppers. Bricks and trees. This is the first choppers race I've done. I don't think I got this far in the challenge because I went and did the league and got the intro screen from that instead. But the chopper, I know the chopper is the mechanic, like it has a mechanic where you can actually go up and down. To go over and above like obstacles. over and below see like you can go below the trees oh yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do this one again no doubt I did get the the choppers, um, the icons, but they didn't look very good as a as a sort of static icon. So that's why we don't have choppers as a badge. Oh, I'm gonna struggle on this one. I might end up. Damn, I wasn't even anywhere close. I wonder if it's better to just stay low and avoid the bricks. can't do it there. Well, you can if you go around the outside. Ah! Ah! 
I am not looking anywhere close to doing this. It's better, I suppose, but can the emulator save the game at this point just in case? Uh, I don't know anything about emulators to know if that's a thing. Save, like, can you save state? Save state as. Race 24. All right, I mean, I, we'll see. It's gotta be better to just avoid everything. have to faff about with going up and down. We go. Ah. Shouldn't say things. <laughs> no. Sure, I was going to get it this time. I was doing so much better. Come on! No! <laughs> ah, this one. I mean, it. You can see how you improve the more that you learn, you know, the tracks, but you've got to have enough lives in po in your pocket to be able to get to the end. And that's what you build up, obviously, with pl more playthroughs. Had I not had to already get to race 20 for the screenshot, like, I think the first time I played this, I didn't even make it to race 10, if I remember right. Gotta be this time. No! Oh, you lose so much speed when you hit something. That's the only problem with this strategy. Yeah, it's less to think about, but... Oof. All right, one life left <laughs> for the final race that I can't remember anything about and I've not done before. Well, I haven't done since I was probably for 20 years, maybe. This is the final one, ultimate race. This is the last one. I could save it. Yeah, let's save it here. State. Error saving state. No, nope, can't. Maybe I should have done it before this. Oh, we're starting backwards. This is unusual. Oh, it's windy. Oh, it's windy. <sighs> really, you can bounce over that. <laughs> I was trying to get to the log. Wait, can you? Is that a shortcut? No, it can't be. Ah. Oh. Ah. 
Oh no! <laughs> I'm only beating green. Oh, no. I'll try that shortcut on the last lap because, yeah, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose anyway. I don't think it is. I think it would be too much of a shortcut for it to be a shortcut. I think there's a shortcut over that, what, that one. Might not even get a chance to get to it. No, you can't. <laughs> Rip. You have to actually win this one as well. Okay, it's a little bit cheaty. But let's... load this one. Because now I can do this one. Well, I hope I can. It's a little cheaty because you wouldn't be able to do this back in the day. Wouldn't have been able to do this on the Mega Drive when I was playing as a kid. That's how it used to be. Like, if you know, if I if I was doing this on the original console, and as a kid, say I was playing through, and I, I got to that final race, and I lost my lives, like I've just done, I would have to play through the whole thing again. <laughs> that was that was old games. There were no checkpoints or save states or anything. You had to go through it all again and memorize the track so you were able to make sure you could get through. When I were a lad. <laughs> yeah, nobody saw anything there. It was all, it's all fine. Alright, can I save it here? There we go. I mean, the, to be honest, I'm pretty far away from being able to win without, like, taking out one of them early on or something. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I should just restart. Load, load state. There we go, let's start again. <laughs> the wonders of modern technology, yeah? <laughs> Thing is, I'm not going to get to the end of the challenge on any of the other two games, so I at least want to, like, complete one of them. And since we're already here for this one, we'll, this has got to be the one. The original of the games. Oh. See, once I'm behind, I don't think I can catch up. Like, blue is too good. Thing is, you've got to do it to learn. Like, I need to, I need to do this track to learn how to do it. <laughs> I know it seems ironic, but... You saw the improvement with the uh, the choppers. The only way to learn is to actually just do the track. All right. I think there's a there's a 
tree branch that's a shortcut here. I think this is a shortcut. No, it's not. Okay. I thought it might have been. I thought it connected to the end of the side, but evidently not. Oh, that was close. I don't think there are any shortcuts on this one. I think it's just straight out. You've got to do it. Oh, please. How many? How many lives? Lives am I gonna? Are we gonna say that I have? Like, like we can't go on indefinitely. How many lives are you gonna let me have, chat? Three. I've used a lot more than three already. <laughs> like, how how much do you want to see the end? That's pretty much gonna determine how many lives you give me. Let's say from this point on, I lose a life when I restart this time. So how many do I have maximum from now? You guys make a determination. How much do you want to see the end? Yes. <laughs> There's three hours left of the stream. Okay, so you you want to see the end then. <laughs> I suppose I've still got a life. I don't need to restart every time. Alright, come on. Good start. I was trying to be cheeky and bonk off blue, but it didn't work. You gotta be on point to stay ahead of blue, that's the thing. Ah, oh, see, you can't. You gotta slow down for that. Ah. No. That's it. It's already over. Alright, I'm restarting. It's already over at that point. Run's dead. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta stay ahead of blue. Yeah, I think me speed running this game is probably not going to happen. Well, I suppose you know, speed running anything, you got to do it multiple times and learn it and do multiple runs. Oh, for God's sake. Come on, let's catch up to blue. Blue's not all powerful. Oh, that would jump over there. Risky though. Oof, that was lucky. Don't think I can catch. This time. This time. For this time, first time. It's alright getting into an early lead, but then you just can't do any mistakes. That's the line. Come in wide so you can take the, the little hop over it.
No! Oh, I've bollocksed it. Oh, I'm so frustrated. <sighs> Absolute heartbreak. I thought that was it. This is comedy. I'm sweating. Can you imagine, though, doing this as a kid back on the Sega Mega Drive? I don't know whether I ever completed the challenge. I'm, I'm sure I probably did. But maybe like once or something, because... You know, you, how many how many tries have I had of this now? I don't know what the actual number is, but... I would have had to go through the entire game. All these times. I would have got like, what, five or six lives every time and... I probably would have managed to learn all the other tracks to get to this track with all my lives still intact. But I still would have had to go through a few times. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I'm still in the lead. Blue and yellow are fighting. This is the chance. I'm an idiot. Blue's gone. Yellow's gone. This is worse than Dark Souls. It's all over. I'll give chase in case a miracle happens. Nah. <laughs> it's because you're not using a CTCR team on it. <laughs> that was absolutely the chance and I botched it big time. I keep botching it. Screw you, Blue! I need to knock him off. I have not done three laps without knocking myself off yet. Can't do it. Even now, as a 32 year old, can't do this game. It's too hard. It's too hard for me. I was probably better when I was a kid, to be fair. Gotta go big on the last corner. No. this time this time we're gonna do it this do you know what it's gonna take us like the entirety of the amount of time it took us to get to the 20th race it will probably have taken us the same amount of time to get the last five done especially with all the super laps at the start and the instant wins yes blue and yellow fight it out let me get away Why do I say things? Still okay. Blue's fighting with green. Blue's had a really bad... T I hate myself. Concentrate, you bloody idiot. Mm. It's going to come down to the last lap.
Yes! <laughs> oh, that was that was intense. Oh, that was intense. Ultimate champion. Yes. <laughs> First try. First time's the charm. I've definitely, definitely seen this screen before in my lifetime, so I must have been able to do that as a kid. <laughs> Was that worth it? Was that worth all of this for you guys to see the, win the winning screen? <laughs> Obviously they've got multiplayer and... Um, they had full player as well at one uh, in some of the other games. Uh, they've got head to heads and Super League and time trial and stuff as well. But I'm just going to focus on the challenge mode for each of them. I think each of these games. Um, the head to head is where you're just basically against one other person and you've got to get to the edge of the screen uh, before they do. And then the Super League is like you progress up through the divisions based on your points for the races. That was always my favourite mode. Um, yeah, let, let, let's do let's do Micro Machines Military. 